it going on time. Awesome stuff. Hello, good evening. Um, yeah, my name is Simon. I'm working for a company called Etrenode, uh, and this company works on the project The Graph. We also have a booth down there. Uh, sorry for the delay, we had kind of technical problems. Somehow, my laptop was not connecting. Uh, I was supposed to do uh, some live coding, but I skipped the coding and just do some talk, and then we can maybe do the coding later at the booth. All right, let me start. So. The graph is an indexing and querying protocol for blockchain data on Ethereum. And since June 2021, actually it's possible to deploy subgraphs to the graph decentralized network. That means like, it's now possible to really have this indexing and querying layer that the graph provides, that you can use that in a decentralized uh, way, kind of in a permissionless way. Everybody can join as an indexer, everybody can join its subgraph uh, and deploy to, the, to that network. So, um, like, why should you do that? I mean, it is currently most developers use the hosted service, but the, the graph network has uh, a lot of advantages that I want to kind of quickly talk through. Like, there are 150 or more than 150 indexers worldwide. So, if you deploy your subgraph to the decentralized network, then those indexers will uh, some of them will pick it up and start to index, so you have kind of worldwide coverage of your data. The hosted service that is run by Edge Node in a, in a centralized matter um, is only located in the US, uh, in a US data center. So this is one of the great advantages. Then also the graph decentralized network, as decentralized networks are, it is a permissionless network, it is owned by individuals, and it will last forever, kind of like the blockchain. So. And on top of that, the redundancy that you will become by deploying your subgraph to the decentralized network, uh, it's kind of obvious. At some, you have just more indexes. If one indexer goes down or has a problem or gets censored or whatsoever, there are still others to jump in. So this is another ad advantage that you might want to have. And then it is fast, cheap, and reliable. Again, like the, this global spread, like if you, let's say, you know, are in Asia or, like, and, and want to query uh, fr from the graph, then it is, uh, you will probably be um, assigned to an indexer in Asia too uh, that will serve your queries or the latency of your query is lower. Also, it is more reliable as I said. And in general, I think like we are building Web3 here and uh, it makes sense to contribute to the global open API so that the data starts to be free and goes out of the centralized silos. Um, there are already some projects that migrated to the decentralized network, for example, like LivePeer. And Adam from LivePeer uh, said, yeah, it was really a smooth process. I mean, in the end, when you, when you walk through all the steps, you just need to switch one line of code, and then uh, you ch switch the endpoint from the hosted service to the decentralized network. Um, also, you see on these charts that um, the decentralized network is growing. Um, the this network subgraphs, they, we have over 18% over the last three months. And also, um, the query fees, they, they go up and up and up. Like, now it's really the time a lot of projects migrate over. I mean, maybe you heard of Choosebox, um, the one project um, that uh, was, I think, was at the Constitution DAO, and now the um, it's Julian Assange DAO, yes. Um, that, that, uh, that, that brings these DAOs. Also, they use uh, the graph decentralized network, and they were able, especially with the last project, to scale immediately. Like, the, the, this project was really one of those kind of you launch, you put it on Twitter, and then boom, traffic comes. And the graph decentralized network was able to actually uh, uh, hold up the traffic and uh, having no downtime for them. Also, uh, there are more and more developers coming into the decentralized network, um, yeah, as you can see. So really now it's the time. And also, like during East Denver, I was uh, personally meeting with some very brave projects, you know, the pioneers of the decentralizations, and we sat down with them together and, re and, and helped them to migrate uh, the subgraphs from the hosted service to the decentralized network. And uh, I want to uh, kind of shill them to you because it's like very cool people that, that they did this. It's the hop protocol on one hand side, then pop. Like you will soon when you go on the Poap website, 
uh, then on the on the Ethereum mainnet, those those will be powered by the decentralized network. Then also the Emblem DAO, very cool project that will launch in the next uh, weeks, where you can uh, co collect so-called. Uh, emblems probably that uh, represent your activity on different protocols very nice and also open was here um, to, to migrate a new product uh, squeeze to the decentralized network um, so yeah thank you for them that they that to join um, I quickly go through the steps uh, how this how this works I hope that I can migrate one of the subgraphs in front of you here but unfortunately, something is wrong with my computer. I don't know. Um, I will call Tim Cook later and say that uh, it's, I'm not happy. But um, yeah, here are the steps. And if you actually want to do it for your subgraph, feel free to come to the graph booth. And um, we can do it together. Or um, yeah, you can hit me up, and we can do it uh, remotely or async, so to call. So what you do, the first step, is you just deploy your subgraph to the subgraph studio. That feels similar like the hosted service. Then you publish and signal um, on your subgraph to the decentralized graph network. This is an on-chain transaction, and that you and you also signal. So to say, give the indexers uh, 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 you, you signal GRT on your subgraph, so that your indexers see, okay, it's a electric subgraph. Um, then you can inform the index. You can come to our Discord and, and um, talk to them. So they start indexing. Usually they, they immediately start. Uh, you can create an API key, fill that API key on Polygon with GRT. Uh, then wait for your subgraph to be indexed, and then migrate your endpoints over. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, what changes is obviously now you pay for queries, um, but it's just very, very uh, per, per, the, the cost per query is very small. So, um, and, and it also is a dynamic network. And um, but this changes the incentive structure from uh, yeah, having someone providing something for free, but now really p people pay for it. Or you, the protocols usually pay for their users. Um, yeah, here, live migration we didn't do. But yeah, as I said, like I'm, I'm around, like other people from the graph are around. Feel free to reach out. Then, yeah, you can become a decentralization pioneer. We're happy to help you migrate. Um, yeah, feel free to reach out. You can come to our, the graph Discord and, and f find me there or on Twitter or on Telegram, and then um, I help, we help you through all these steps and, and see that it's a successful thing. Thank you so much for your time, and uh, yeah, enjoy Denver.